Hey everybody, I'm Seth V for the Knife Center, and today we're talking fastest knives. Let's check them out. Okay, so before we jump into the knives, I kind of wanted to put some fence posts around this idea because when we're talking about speed, uh, I think it should become pretty obvious pretty quickly that that depends on how you open the knife. And let me show you what I mean. Here, for example, is the new Knife Center exclusive CJRB Crag, a manual flipper that opens very fast. Very fast. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll try to shoot some slow motion video to post on Instagram later of all these knives opening so we can actually see which one is fastest, but I would not be surprised if this one is up there, especially if you really give it some, some force. This knife too. Also a very fast knife, but not exactly what I was trying to get at with this video. With the uh, shark lock on this AD 20.5 from Andrew Demko, <laughs> you can flick it open fast. You can uh, kind of kinetically open it. But as you saw with that first little flub, it depends on user error. And that is kind of what we're getting to here because these knives aren't just fast, they get at something a little more actually useful, which is that they require minimal user input in order to get into readiness. And that's where an assist comes in, like on this CRKT M16 deadbolt. This is running D2 steel and uh, goes for about $119 on the website at the moment. We've got kind of a combination of two of CRKT's new flagship features. One is the deadbolt lock, super strong, easy to use, just push the button to unlock. And the other is their new torsion bar assist. Um, much like speed safe in the past, this is a uh, little bent bar that sort of pushes the blade. It, it helps you to open it, right? You get it started and then the spring takes over and flings the blade the rest of the way out. Let's see that again. I picked this one, in fact, because you can see through the holes in the handle to where the spring is actually working. There we go. That's fast, and that extra speed is really useful when you don't want to have to think about your blade. That's where this comes into play. Um, if you have adrenaline flowing, maybe you're a first responder, maybe you're just in a stressful situation and you need your knife fast. Uh, you don't want to have to use a very specific and intricate set of muscles to um, get your knife open. You want that gross motor control, pull back on the tab with whatever finger you can use to touch it and know that that blade's going to be in place. A torsion bar assist works, it's very reliable, um, but I don't think it's the fastest one out there, the fastest assisted system. Um, I'm going to give the fastest assist crown to SOG with their um, AT series of knives. This is the very appropriately named Flash. The Flash AT has D2 blade steel, um, costs about $74.95 on the website. And check out how fast this assisted system is. Boom. There's comparably much less movement you have to do to get that blade started. Basically just push the thumb studs a little bit and it rockets open. Uh, that's actually because of the way that SOG makes their assisted knives. Um, instead of using a torsion bar like in the CRKT or Kershaw um, speed safe assist systems, SOG uses a little coil spring around the pivot, which is uh, a type of setup that you normally only see on button fired automatics. Um, that coil spring gives you that immediate takeover, that super fast speed to knock that blade open quick. In addition to that speed, this, this SOG has a couple other features that I think help it make it feel faster in use. Uh, the ambidextrous crossbar lock feels very quick to use. Um, it's just so simple to operate, you know, it, moves your hands out of the path of the blade so that you can easily push that blade closed. Even though you encounter some resistance with the assist, it's very easy to do. Once you touch that thumb stud, that blade is coming open. And uh, 
For that reason, for a little extra security, this also features a safety. Spine mounted, also ambidextrous, very thoughtful design. But uh, once that safety is engaged, you can't hit that thumb stud. The knife is safely closed. Click it open. You can see that pop of red for the safety, meaning it's ready to go. And boom, knife is open. So faster than an assist, we have to go to automatics. And an automatic blade, uh, is there an easier way to deploy a folding knife? I mean, simply push the button and it's open. That is speed right there. And this of course is a ProTech made Boker USA Burnley Quaken. Uh, this one is running 154 cm steel, aluminum handles um, for $199 right now. Super cool knife. Uh, the Quaken has been, well, has become, I think, a modern classic. One of Bo Boker's most successful designs. I mean, just look at it. It's super, super clean. Uh, when closed, curvy and pointy when opened, awesome knife. And uh, that coil spring around the pivot is gonna give you more than enough speed. In fact, <laughs> you can feel the inertia of that blade smacking against the stop pin every time you hit the button. It, it really thwacks. I mean, people talk about ProTech knives for their speed and they are well known for being some of the snappiest autos in the business. So faster still than a button fired auto is an out the front. This of course is the Microtech Ultratech. I had to pull one of these if we're talking about fast knives. I mean, not only is it fast on the open, it's fast on the close too. Check that out. Moving out the front, the blade has um, a fair bit less travel than it does swinging all the way out the side. So this is the fastest way to deploy a non-fixed blade, for sure. Preload that spring a little bit and then boom, it's open. It's almost like a binary action, you know? Open, closed, zero, one, zero, one. It simply is or it isn't open. And uh, that's what makes it feel fast. So Microtech rolls these through with different blade steels from batch to batch. This one in stock at the moment has M390. Uh, these are going for $294. Made in the USA, of course. Super sweet. You know, being able to close your knife quickly is a big part of the perception of speed. You can have your knife out, open, use it to make a cut, closed and back in your pocket before uh, just about anybody knows you even had a knife out in the first place. It's really, really cool to be able to just use a knife this quickly. All right, so I can't talk about fast knives and not mention the Emerson Wave. The Emerson Wave is this little hook-shaped feature here at the front of the blade. Uh, kind of doubles as a blade guard, but what it's best known for is a pocket deployment hook. So carry tip up in your pocket against the seam of your pants. Uh, you use this hook to auto deploy the blade as it comes out. So pulling out of the pocket and the knife is out. This is great. Once you get the hang of it, it takes a little practice to reliably catch that hook on your pocket. And some designs work a little better than others. But once you get it, the knife is open before you even have it fully in your grip. And that is very fast. In fact, this blade, I think, really shows off what is legitimately useful about having a knife that opens so quickly. So if I'm, if I'm, this happens to me a lot, I think. I'm, I'm working on a project that involves some cutting occasionally and then a bunch of other stuff in between, you know, whether I'm trimming a plant or, I don't know, cutting out shipping labels, right? I'm not cutting constantly. I'm putting the knife down, picking it up again. And, uh, if I'm doing that a lot in and out of my pocket, it's great to skip the opening every time. It's, it's almost like uh, skipping a cutscene in a video game. It's just straight to the action. A knife that works in a similar way to the Emerson Wave, but that isn't even really advertised as having a wave deployment is the CRKT Provoke. So this is the first of several ring knives on the table and I picked these ring knives because they are so fast to deploy. 
you know, you, this buries quite deeply in your pocket, but as soon as you get a fingertip in that ring, you just have to pull it out, push here with your thumb, and the blade is out. Unlike a traditional karambit that rotates open, this one sort of springs forward and uh, it doesn't have an assist exactly, but it does have, it feels like a bit of momentum when it opens. It, it wants to open and it feels very fast. So if you bury this in your pocket just right, you can actually use that spot where your thumb goes as a wave-like feature to deploy it straight out of your pocket. So just like that Emerson, this is a knife that opens before it's even in your grip and is ready to go as soon as you grab it. So as any fixed blade fan will point out, I'm sure, there's nothing faster than a knife you don't even have to unfold. This is the Bastinelli Picour. This little thing is super wicked and super fast. Uh, at first I thought it was a little bit like a Kiridashi, but this edge here is also sharpened, so it's kind of a, a crazy Tonto thing going on here. Um, but this is just a single piece of very nicely rounded N690CO steel uh, made by Fox Knives in Italy for Bastinelli. So this little ring knife designed in collaboration with Doug Marcheda is very fast. Uh, part of the reason I picked this is its size. I think a small knife kind of naturally feels faster. It just doesn't weigh your grip down. The other reason is this sheath here. It comes with an ulti clip that really clamps it to your pants or belt or inseam or whatever you put it onto. So that all you have to do to get this blade out is pull the ring and you're good to go. It's in your grip already. You can of course use it in the around the first finger. You could use it around the pinky. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> you can use it around the pinky. And what we've got here is kind of just a little utility blade would make a great box cutter that also has that instantaneously in hand uh, factor that makes it all that more useful to carry. I don't believe I mentioned the price on this yet. It is $150. And if you're willing to sacrifice some of the fit and finish that you get here, the beautifully rounded everything, the quality materials, this cold steel bird and trout knife gets you most of the way there for $17.95. I had to show this one. This little thing is really cool. It is built like a, well, the blade, I should say, is, is very much a traditional bird and trout style knife. Short, thin, slicey, but that handle is made for speed. Super light and with that finger ring there, you're gonna get that uh, grip and go kind of action. Um, one thing, this sheath is a little slower to put away. You kind of have to intentionally move this tab out of the way to get it back, but uh, you can just pull it straight out. No need to do that on the way out. There's enough retention with this sheath to carry it upside down or however this is gonna work for you. Super lightweight, super thin, super fast. Next up is one I actually had to pull from my personal collection because we didn't have one on the shelf the day these were filmed. This is Leduc. And this little fixed blade uh, is what kind of changed my mind on carrying a fixed blade, EDC. And it all comes down to this sheath. The sheath had the speed that I needed to give a fixed blade a chance. Uh, I would go as far as to say that this little fixed blade carries better than uh, at least some of my folders. Um, it's just so ingeniously designed. Um, the knife fits in very flush and then this clip swings out of the way and holds it very sturdily in place, but not too much that you can't just yank it out when you need it. Kind of like these finger ring knives, the beak on Leduc gives you some of that retention in hand as you draw it from the sheath. The ergonomics here are strange, for sure. It is feels very strange at first to have that beak in between your third and fourth fingers. Uh, but because so much of your grip strength comes from those fingers, it makes it feel very uh, hand-filling and controllable in a way. 
There's nothing quite like Leduc. Designed by Jerry Hossum and made by Outdoor Edge, this little fixed blade, belt knife, neck knife, whatever, is just such a great carry package. And it comes down to the way that this sheath works. This sheath has the speed you need. Uh, not only does it hold the knife very quietly, it's plastic, so it's quite lightweight. It's fully adjustable, so you can carry it upside down, horizontal, however you like. Uh, all you have to do to get that blade out there is grab it exactly the way you'd use it and pull. And that's what makes it so fast. The fact that you can get your hand around the handle in the same position that you're gonna use the knife before it's even out of the sheath, that's the speed factor right there. That's what makes this really, uh, really pleasant to carry and use. Even though this is an inexpensive knife, uh, $26.95, even though the steel is nothing special, uh, HCR 14 MOV, the experience of carrying and using this is really, really refined. Um, anytime you need a cutting tool, you just feel your hands wrap around that and uh, you're ready to cut. Well, that about says it about Leduc. But I wanted to pick a big fixed blade to show off that you don't have to stay small to still have speed. This is the Spyderco Fred Perrin. Um, is this a street buoy? Yes, this is the street buoy. The shorter one is the street beat. Uh, this comes in at 121.45 right now with VG10 steel. And just check out the way this sheath springs off this knife. This is an injection molded sheath. Um, you can get that to happen with Kydex too, of course, but your hand being in the position that you're gonna use the knife in and being able to just pop that sheath off with your thumb, it is so fast and easy to use. And with just about five inches of blade to work with, that's a lot of knife at the ready. Um, I really like these Spyderco uh, Street Series fixed blades because instead of having a separate finger guard, they kind of integrate this finger scallop into it. So you feel super locked in, super safe from that edge and uh, ready to go before the blade is even out of the sheath. Well, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these super speedy knives as much as I did. Uh, you'll find links to all of these knives in the description. Make sure to sign up for our knife rewards program while you're on our website. So when you put your money down on some of these knives, you can get some free money to spend towards your next one. Oh, and remember, if you're as curious about which of these folding knives is actually fastest as I am, head on over to our Instagram. I'm gonna be taking slow motion video of all of these and we will actually see which one really is the fastest. My guess is gonna be the Microtech OTF. I just think there's no beating it, but uh, let us know down in the comments your pick for the fastest knife. We'll see who's right. All right, everybody, thanks much. I'm Seth V, and I'll see you next time.